the Honda dealer man it's like 80 degrees out here sitting in traffic Honda of Jacksonville it's like a ZX6R over there used a few years old Cycles of Jacksonville. Hey, what's your name again? I'm Scott. Scott, do you yes, mind sir. being on YouTube for a Not second? At all. Okay. Not at all. <laughs> cool. This is the. Uh, is this a 20, 2013? 2013 Speed Triple. 2013 Speed Triple. I just sat on it. It's pretty, pretty sweet. It just feels right. Um, it really fit me well. Got my gloves right there for now. 2013 Speed Triple. I mean, it's so comfortable, and I've heard so many good things about this bike. On YouTube videos uh, it just feels right you know um, what's the uh, what's the price on this one these here this is 15 7 this is the R model with the oil suspension on it Brembo brakes uh, it's carbon fiber pieces on it really nice great riding bike yeah yeah so this is the speed triple R it's got the uh, do a little walk around it's got the dual exhaust up in the back um, you can get the fender eliminator for it, but that looks pretty cool. You don't need a single sided swing arm, uh, tubular frame there, uh, dual Brembo brakes up front. But yeah, that's that's the speed triple. I'm gonna see if I can pick out a couple other bikes to show off here. Um, cool, man, appreciate it. We got the street triple R right there. Street triple R is a little different. Service 101, service 101. Okay, so this is the 675 version, and the street uh, speed triple is a 1050. 1050, it's 132 horsepower right there, really nice. 1050 uh, cc. This is a 675 cc. I guess it's probably the base motor of the uh, the uh, Daytona. It's a similar. It's a based off the same platform. It's tuned differently, more for the naked style bike. It's not going to be as aggressive as the 675. Right, a little tuned tune down. Uh, yeah, it looks a little smaller, like smaller frame, maybe wheelbase. It is. It's a uh, uh, totally smaller platform than the 1050. Yeah, it feels a little more upright, just a little more laid back and uh, a little more compact. Um, it's a good bike, though. Should be a better around town because it's lighter and nimbler. Yeah. If you're looking for a great urban assault vehicle, that's it right there. Right. Kind of a step up from what I've got now, the CB500F. Yes. Yeah. What's the price tag on this one? These are $99.99 for the R model. $99.99. Yeah, that's not bad. And the difference is you get larger brakes in the front for better stocking power versus on the standard. Yep. And it's got the side exhaust. Kind of similar to the CBR 1000. Yeah, more of a MotoGP style exhaust on it. Yeah, there's one bike that I really love here uh, that you know I may never own, but the uh, Aprilia RSV4. Yeah, it's just right over here. Hey, do you have one of those I can sit on? Let's do that. Sweet. All right, I'm about to sit on this bad boy um, RSV4 Aprilia. Uh, 1000 is a leader bike, right around a thousand cc race bike, like top level super bike. Can't believe he's gonna let me sit on this. this is awesome. Yeah, I just love this bike. I hear it eats gas so terribly. Any of your leader bikes, race bikes, you're not looking for a fuel efficient bike. You're looking for performance. Of course, yeah. Performance and fuel efficiency don't really go hand in hand. You yeah. get good gas mileage as long as you're putting around. But honestly, you're not gonna put it around. It's a hundred exactly, yeah. power, you know. 
if I wanted to be top dog in my meetup group, I'd, I'd probably get one of these, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you really want to be top dog, you go with the factory version, or you the orange. All right, version. yeah. What, what's the price tag on this one? They're $16.9, and you go up to 20000 on the on the factory version. Yeah, okay. Is this, uh, what year is it? This is 2013. 2013? Can I go ahead and sit on it? Yeah, go ahead and have a seat on it. All right, this is awesome. When you look at electronics on it, uh, a pre is top dog when it comes to electronics. You actually you can shift gears right here, electronic shifts in here. You have different modes here. You can actually have a launch mode. You also actually can shift gears from that. Yeah. Wow, I didn't even know that. You can use, it has a slipper clutch on it. You can actually use shift gears, full throttle, without using the clutch. You can shift gears on it. That's amazing. You also have wheelie control, which is the nice thing about that is when you're doing a wheelie, it doesn't stop you from doing a wheelie. It's actually wheelie control. Yeah. If you're doing a wheelie and then you just want to bring it down with the wheelie control on, it'll bring it down smooth. It's not going to slam down. Right. I hear that the upright, the, uh, what is it, the Tuono? Toronto. Toronto. Yeah, I hear that's a wheelie machine. It is. It's right beside it. It's got a, basically the same motor. It's detuned. 180 horsepower, 167. 167. And this is 180. This is what when competes. You think about it, most of your 1,000 liter bikes, that's what it's doing right there. Yeah. And you got it in a naked version. Right. This, a full MotoGP style bike right out of the box. Yeah, this is just it right here. Um, RSV4. I mean, it fits me pretty good. Wow. It looks, looks badass. Uh, we'll see, you know, maybe in a few years. Pretty awesome. You All can right. see it's set up. It's a race bike. You know, look, it's not a, even though you do get a passenger seat, you can ride a passenger on it, it's set up to race. It's not go out there and uh, let's go cruise a boulevard. Let's right, it's pretty serious. Yeah. A little bit of work to ride, I'm sure. Yeah. You got to hold back a lot. You gotta have self control. Yeah, yeah. Because the cops, they love bikes like this. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Cool, man. Well, thank you. No problem. Really, RSV4. Awesome. <laughs> Alright. Leaving the Honda of Jacksonville. Uh, Cycles of Jaxel, they just haven't updated their, their big sign up there yet. It's now called Cycles of Jacksonville. That's where we just uh, sat on a speed triple, Triumph speed triple, a street triple, I think the 675, I think it was called a street triple, yeah. And the RSV4. Um, I actually came out here because I thought I had a transmission issue, but according to the expert sales guy, which I, I'm not being sarcastic, I think mean, he's, I've been coming here for years, the guy really knows his stuff. He said my issue is normal, like that's the way transmissions are supposed to work. Well, it, what happens is when, like say I'm doing 50 miles an hour in six gear and I come to a stoplight and stop and I don't downshift while I'm slowing down to a stop, it won't it won't downshift unless you like feather the clutch or uh, move forward a little bit you know it won't get down in gear down the gears so I thought maybe my transmission was just like just needed something like a little bit of adjusting or something and I thought I'd have it done while it's still under warranty I've got until uh, next May for the one year warranty well he he told me, he explained to me that, you know, that's that's the way most bikes are. So I didn't I didn't realize that. Like I've had bikes in the past, I don't remember them being like that. Uh, I mean, it, they, they sometimes, like I think I, I had the 07 CBR 1000 double R and um, I think it would downshift until it got to like first or second gear and then it wouldn't go past second gear down into first gear sometimes or it wouldn't go into neutral. I don't know, I guess every bike's different. But supposedly it's normal. Uh, traffic, traffic. I keep thinking of that Jimi Hendrix song, Non Stop Traffic. If that indeed is the name of the song. So I had a fun ride out here. It was just, you know, I always, 
I can't just hop on my bike and just ride uh, without a destination. I, I, I just, it's not, that's not, that's not very fun to me to just cruise around nowhere, going nowhere, but so I thought I'd take the opportunity, be careful, I thought I'd take the opportunity, uh, what just happened there? I think I had my hand off the handlebar and that guy hit his brakes. I'm focusing too much on talking. Well, completely forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, I remember. Um, I have to have a destination. That's just like fun. A fun ride to me is to have somewhere to be or go. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to ride out to the Honda dealer for a fun little ride. And I thought I was going to have to drop the bike off and take a taxi home. Um, but, like I said, according to the the well, service guy, I shouldn't say sales guy, he's service, sales, I guess. Um, everything's fine, so I, I'm just riding back. <clears throat> just in case I forgot to mention it, uh, about the transmission issue, non-issue, is that he said you're supposed to uh, go down through the gears as you slow down, like you always downshift. As you slow down, you go through the gears, and I didn't do that a few times, and I thought, I thought it was, you know, the transmission was supposed to be able to downshift without having to, without being able, without moving, basically. But I was wrong. 